Hello everyone, welcome back to Game Toy Time P. And there's a reason why I'm doing this map tour on the loading screen. This, in my opinion, is the best loading screen into your map in all Frank Simulator 19 history. So far. But it's probably going to be the best. Just look at it. It's amazing. Now, if you haven't already determined... We are doing the map tour of Millennial Farmer Map. Uh, this is where our next YouTube series is going to be. Welcome to the map, everybody. As we just heard, that was Zach Johnson uh, telling us that, it, that welcome to this map, this wonderful, amazing map. So excited to just show you guys this. Although it's been out for maybe like five months now on consoles, I just never gotten around to doing a map tour. Now I am. This map was made by Mapper Paradise and the Subby. Place bowls from this map are found on Mod Hub if you want to make your own, stuff like that. And we're about to get in this map and take a map tour. Now, if you need a season GO, Lowry, Minnesota works perfectly with this since that is where Millennial Farm is. And in we go. Ooh, wow, so much hype. But, uh,. It does have, like, a custom season mask, and it does have crop textures, which it should since this is a map based in Minnesota, which grows a lot of corn and soybeans. So, let's take a look at the map first off, and there are not a lot of fields on the map, but there are, uh, there are 16 fields, but the fields are huge. So, large soybean harvests, and you start off with the main millennial farm and field number three, which is huge. Now, I, I already said it was season ray, but it also has like a custom precision farming soil mask, which if you're using precision farming, why are you on this map? But anyway, we start off here at your farm, at, at your farm. Uh, this is the Millennial Farmer Farmhouse. And right now it has summer textures in the pool, but during winter to cover all that stuff. Back here, you do have a dog, since he does have dogs. I think it was... I know one of them's Anna. Can't remember the other one. Uh, but... I, I will say one thing. Millennial Farmer's probably my favorite YouTuber. So... There's your farmhouse, and then you have the driveway back into the farm. So, it, it, it looks decently similar to the real thing. Uh, we'll go over bins in a second. And this will be a longer video since the bins, I have to show you what we have to do with it. But, you have to go on the inside of the garages and open them up. Uh, here, let me turn on my help menu. So... If you didn't know, there we go. I'm going to show you. So, on this shed, you have to press L3 to open up your garage. Square to turn on. And circle to turn on some lights. There we go. And here's some stuff. Like, you see, this one, we could just open with circle like normal. And the same with this. These doors here. Which, when just pressing circle, they'll open up. So this is what's called the toy shed. It looks very nice with the uh, Millennial Farmer wing gauge up there. Uh, the yard, the yard lights will come on during night. And then over here is, I would say, the main shed. Now, as everyone knows, honestly, I think I should get Miles. We are playing on map currently off screen, but. I should probably get Miles to film a YouTube series with me on this map because uh, he's a Millennial Farmer guru. They He calls this the Harvest Shed. This is where they store all the harvest equipment. Uh, it's very deep. And again, just pressing the circle, you get the side door. And then the main door for humans are here. Light switches. Kind of same story, press circle and square to turn on both. I like that you can only have like one or two on at a time. That I that's just helpful. 
Now, before we go into the main garage, I have to go look at something real quick for this map, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I just want to go look at something. So the uh, wind gauge up there is actually what he has in real life. So I think that's really cool. And now we're going to tour the main workshop. This is awesome right here. Let's open it up. So again, if you press L3 at all your garage doors, that's what's going to be a, that's what opens them. Uh, this truck's in the way of that one, but I'm pretty sure you guys get the point. They all open. And then what's cool is, for roleplay, there's his little storage room. Uh, I'll go over white switches in a second as well. Uh, here's the office area. Well, I would say this is his office. This is like the lunchroom area. You know, people gotta eat. And you can also turn on the light switch. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, you can turn on the light switches in the rooms. Which is honestly just a nice hint of detail. Again, uh, I'm trying to get these light switches to work for us. Yeah. But, you get the light switches when, once they turn on, they'll turn on the lights here. Then we could go upstairs. Upstairs is the bedroom. Which, honestly, if you have a wife, I would recommend putting this in your farm shop, farmers. Uh, please, uh, go to JohnDeer.com and uh, get that for you. Because, as we all know, your wife is annoying. Uh, so anyway. First of all, I'm surprised I don't get cancelled because of how much stuff I say on this YouTube channel. <laughs> anyway, so, now we have the bin set up. I'm gonna go over the bin set up at the end. So it's a little separate thing. It's gonna be longer since the bin set up has an interesting, realistic way of working. So, let's take a look around the map now. Well, first, I show you the equipment. We have an 8... 37 RT, the 8400R. Two of these warriors. I'll show you the two mods that come with it. S790, uh, trailers, all this good stuff. I would sell it all. Uh, and you can like sell the areas of farms and stuff. The whole shebang. So, um, I'm going to show you the modded stuff full quick. So, in trucks, we have a warrior, but it's called the Millennial Warrior. The only thing is, it has the Millennial Farm logo on it, which is pretty cool. Next, uh, is the pickup truck. It's Millennial Plus 2014 pickup truck. You get all these decals on it, which are honestly awesome. Oh yeah, you also do get a pickup truck, I believe, right? Huh, interesting. They don't give you one. Uh, and then in the trailers, it's the Wilson trailer, just like the one he has in real life. Same story, Millennial Farm logo. Very interesting. Now let's do our fly around tour. Hold on, press the wrong one. So, uh, this is main farmyard. You have a lot of space to move equipment around. Now this is an entirely, uh, as realistic as the one. There is a giant gasoline storage system, but... Now you have a good area to park your stuff at. Uh, parking all around. That road will take you down to your uh, field three. That road takes you over to field one. There's the house. Now this is your driveway in the main road. There's a mailbox as well. Now if we uh, see. Nope that's oats. But there are some crop textures I want to show you. Now, as you see, it appears that it ends here because we have to go on the outside of the map to get to the grain co-op and the dealership. Very interesting there. Now, if we head down this way, uh, that's cotton. I already think I told you guys this map does have the custom corn and soybean textures, which is awesome. This is the sawmill up here. Um, I'll cover that in a little bit. Roadwork decoration, 
all the good stuff. And up here's the uh, second farm on this map. And this is the dairy farm slash horses. So you have a really amazing mod, uh, bin setup that I wish came to Mod Hub. I would totally use this. And it has all the good detailing like the shed over here, shed, silage pits, uh, sheep. And then if we were to drive back here, we have a sheep farm, which appears to be a uh, redneck hillbilly style. Get what I mean? Um, and over here, you can also download the cow shed if you want to. This is what it looks like. Very nice. Now, there is a lake in the middle, and then this island with that on it. It's just a little detail, I guess you could say. Docks. This is the BGA on the map. A lot of the stuff I just sell. Now over here is the pig farm, which is okay. I mean, again, I sell this stuff to get extra slots so I can buy all the equipment. But there's that. There's even a sign. And then we just end up back over here. I really love the telephone poles on this map. I will say that. We'll, again, a little like minor detail, which some of you guys may be like, why are you saying all that? It's because I like it. Uh, no, that's canola. There is a custom canola texture, but honestly, on this map, corn and soybeans is what they grow in real life. That's the canola. I'm gonna look real quick. Do we actually have corn? Yes, field nine is corn. I want to see if we can see the harvest stage corn. Um. No, but, uh, there is that corn texture, and do we have field soybeans? Yes, field eight. So right next to it is soybeans. Yeah. But they have, like, their custom crop textures. Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. But now you're gonna, uh, go into the next part. So that was the map tour. Now it's the second part of map tour. I'm going to show you how to get to the dealership in Grain Cell Point. So see you there. Alright, so this is the second part of Map Tour. Let that say for a second. And there are a few entrances. One over here and one here. Now what, what makes this interesting is there's the animal dealership. But we can go on the outside of the map. Giants allow them to do this. So, when we go on the outside, we reach the highway. And this is going to take us to the town area, I would say. And the dealership on the map. Uh, this will just take 13 minutes to go through. Uh, except for, it, you can go inside. It's good for role playing. There you go. But, um, hold on. Let me get out. Come on, let me out. Anyway. So, that's how you get to the dealership. This is where your equipment's going to spawn at. Now, to get to the grain co-op, we have two ways in. One is, again, just hang down the road. Uh, you cannot leave the map beyond a certain point. It will actually show barriers. A train will come through sometimes. Like you see here, the barrier is about to pop up. You see, we can no longer go through. But, uh, if we turn down this road, this will take us over to the grain co-op. Um. So basically, you're just going to drive back in here, pull up to here, and this is the CHS. Dump your grain in here. And then, if you want to leave, you can just cross the railroad tracks. Alright, and now I'm going to show you the second way out. <coughs> Oops, sorry. Um, 
So, over here is a seed store. You can buy everything there. And you can also sell root crops over there. Now, if we head down this road, this is our second way out of the exterior area for the dealership and grain cell points. So, if we just head down this road... Then, if we head down this road... Right here, you have just entered in the map again, because as you see, your marker will start to move. So, that is the exterior tour of the map and how to get there. Now, the next part, honestly, there's just videos on their own of watch this, uh, but this is the, uh, how to use the bins on the map. So, uh, please leave the video if you already know how to use them, but please stick around if you need to know how to use them. See you then. Alright, now we're going to learn how to use the bins on this map. So, here's our semi-truck, and in the semi-truck, we you start off with a uh, corn filled up all the way. Now, as you see, you can't dump it yet because we have to go inside this house. A little operation. Now, I am going to turn on my help menu so you can see what I'm doing. We are going to press enter vehicle like it's a vehicle. Now, if you are without, you have to turn it on. If you are using... Uh, if you are using that mode without it. But basically... You're, honestly, I know how to do it. I just have to do something real quick. Turn your engine start off because this is cool. So I turned on the engine. Now we're going over to this control panel. Load, dry, silo. And then we have, and then we press arrow. That will load into the wet silo. Jump back into your truck. And now you can dump. Honestly, I love this option. It just makes it realistic. And honestly, I think it's everyone's favorite part watching dumping corn into a grain bin. So hold on, let that happen. And just like you would do, you are gonna empty that. I'll let that empty. Eventually, after the period of time, it will stop running. But if you're on PC, you can activate the activated course play mode, and then you can also unload the wet silos. Now, also, while that finishes up, there are another place to like, get your grain from. It's this arger right here. That's just there for detail, and then also you just have the main section. So if you have your buddies, you can unload two trucks at a time, which is honestly very awesome indeed to do. So, that's how to use the bins. There's a whole ton of stuff, but Driver 53, I'm pretty sure all you guys know, Driver 53 is my, like, best friend. Uh, he has a good video. Uh, I don't know how to post links in the descriptions, but, uh... He teaches you in like a 13 minute video how to do everything with the grain bin system. I would recommend watching that. Mine was just simple. Honestly, just the basic of what to do. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my map video. It's a little longer one, but this is an amazing map. 10 out of 10 stars. I have no complaints. Have a good day.